Hello, I've got for you today the 2020 limited edition uh, writer's edition uh, for Victor Hugo, the 1831 limited edition. So 1831 is the year uh, in which Victor Hugo published The Hunchback of Notre Dame, or Notre Dame de Paris. Uh, so that's the, the significance of, uh, of the limited edition number. So, like always, the, the writer's editions come in a simulated book with uh, the, these uh, limited editions come with also a, a supplementary book that has usually a, uh, what do you call it, sort of an excerpt, a facsimile or a, a copy of an excerpt of a document important to the, the literary figure. Uh, so, Victor Hugo embossed on the, the supplementary book and the, the actual pen case. So let's put that aside for a minute. And already we've lost focus. Uh, so as usual, a service guide, generic service guide, and a little instructional booklet with the details of the pen. Uh, so I'm pretty sure the text contained here is not word for word identical to the 9800 limited edition, the, the resin, the black resin one, but it is very similar with some some tweaks in place to reference the uh, 1831 limited edition and the, the specific design elements of the pen. Any photos of the nib? Oh yeah, there we go. It's a gargoyle. So in the video that I released with the uh, special edition version of this pen, I mentioned that there were four, four uh, types of pen. An eight, uh, double eight, the, this 1831 and then a 9,800 uh, uh, and I said that all the pens had the same or a gargoyle on the on the nib and somebody corrected me uh, I guess I must have seen early artwork uh, of nibs because I definitely remember seeing four uh, four different versions of gargoyles on nibs when they presented these these uh, the, the preview to uh, more law patrons. Uh, so let's see. Like the uh, black resin pen, uh, it has a lot of design elements pulled from the Gothic architecture of Notre Dame, uh, but this time the Rosetta, the, the main stained glass window, is carried on to the pen body, so it goes over the pen cap and then uh, is continued on the pen body, and all of the all of the design elements are taken from uh, Notre Dame. So uh, the red you see is uh, an underlay. So I think they've got uh, this platinum overlay, uh, so it's not simply filled in. So those those gaps aren't simply filled in. Uh, and I was worried that this might be a monochrome red. Uh, that was one of the problems with the Mont uh, Montezuma Patron of Arts edition. But this this red is it's a bit hard to capture on camera, but it is a bit more. Uh, a bit more complex, so it's not simply matte red. It's glossy red, but there's also a layer of clear varnish over it, which gives it a bit of uh, three-dimensional characteristic to it. The camera's not really picking that up. That's a bit disappointing. Um, so onto the pen cap. So just like the pen barrel, it's got the, the red, red underlay with the platinum overlay. You can see that a bit there. Uh, where are we? here where the you can see a gap between the, the red 
and uh, the platinum. So these numbers, 24,601 and 9,000, what is it? Come on. 9,430 uh, are the prisoner numbers that Jean Valjean from Les Miserables had assigned to him over the course of his various imprisonments. And the red is supposed to uh, reference the red of the prisoner's uniform that he would have worn, and the yellow on the pen, uh, pen cone is supposed to reference the yellow of the passports that were given to prisoners. Uh, so that's where they pull the, the inspiration for the color. Uh, so once again, the, the clip is a bell clapper, uh, taken obviously from uh, Notre Dame, and unlike other previous uh, limited edition writer's editions, the Mont Blanc emblem is Mother of Pearl, uh, and once again, like the, the previous 9,800 edition, there's an inscription on the top, Chacom dans sa nuit s'en va vers sa lumière, uh, so, every man in his night needs to go towards his light. Loosely translated, every man needs to find his path in life uh, and his, his meaning. Uh, so the cone, once again, like the other, the other version of this pen, is designed to look like, a, like the post where Quasimodo was chained up. But uh, it's been adorned with this very small uh, little loop uh, to represent where he would have been chained. So, you know, little chain loop. Uh, very interesting. Rotates. And, yeah, there's no seam on it because it's joined within the, the, the post. Once again, it's a piston filler. And I'm glad that it's got a matte finish. This isn't this isn't uh, sheeting or sheath or plastic coating. There's that here. Uh, this is actually matte platinum, which won't be as as difficult to to keep clean. I think. Let's see. And then the nib. So the limited edition number is on the band where Mont Blanc is inscribed. Let's see if we can get that. Come on. Almost there. There we go. Mont Blanc. And then the limited edition number just uh, it's right there. Fountain pen, 1831. And let's see. So the nib, once again, a beautiful nib. I love these nibs. Uh, with the gargoyles. I wish I could get all four of the uh, of the editions of this pen simply because the nibs are so so well done. Uh, yeah, absolutely wonderful. And then as with all uh, writer's editions, somewhere on the pen they'll scribe the, the uh, author's signature. This time it's on the section Come on. And I think this is also a, a plastic sheet. Yeah. Let's remove that. Very tenacious. Beautiful mirror finish. Sorry about the jets. Can't be helped. So, there you have it. Uh, oh, actually, I haven't shown you the the contents of the supplementary book. So let's see.
so basically this is the, the introduction that they were saying here about uh, I wrote the first three or four pages of Notre Dame de Paris and yada 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 uh, and then ended them or finished them in January uh, 1831 and then well I'd say almost incomprehensible but that's that's me uh, and then if you go back to the the explanation, this Greek word is fate, is that right? Or destiny. Uh, and then the opening of Notre Dame. I wish I had the book with me uh, at the moment to be able to give you an idea of what it is, but it's of course in French. Uh, and I can de decipher maybe only every second word. Okay. So that's what you get in the supplementary, in the supplementary uh, hardcover booklet that accompanies the the special edition pen box. So there you have it, an absolutely wonderful pen, beautiful, beautiful red underlay, uh, definitely enamel. Uh, and platinum, platinum coated pen. Uh, yeah, I love it. It's absolutely wonderful. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, yeah.